the Silver Star Nation Dallas Cowboys draft special. After unexpectedly getting C.D. Lamb in the first round, the Cowboys felt fortunate again in the second round. Alabama cornerback Trayvon Diggs was still on the board, and they quickly jumped to address a big need. Mickey Spagnola and Babe Loffenberg rejoin us. Mickey, what are your thoughts on Diggs? Yeah, you know, I, I, I'll guarantee you the Cowboys were surprised because uh, they had a first-round grade on him. And if you looked at a lot of other people's boards, uh, they had Trayvon Diggs in the first round. So to be there where they were drafting at the second round, once again, you had need and availability, and they matched uh, in this case. And they got themselves a corner with some length. Uh, the, the way they're going to play this defense, they want big corners. They want guys that can press, play man-to-man, -man, and that's what he did at Alabama. Uh, and he was also a ball hawk. So I think they felt very fortunate that Trayvon Diggs was sitting there right for him, and they didn't get fancy. As you said, they grabbed him right away. And Friday night before that draft, I tweeted out uh, before the second round started, okay, time for the Cowboys to take the best available corner. They had to get out a, a corner out of that second round, and they did, and they got a darn good one. And here's what's interesting too, Wes. We know uh, it's up in the air as to when – OTAs, mini camp, even training camp will start. So if we have a season and it's delayed, he comes from a program that obviously they're as well coached in that secondary as any in the country. So he's going to be a little further along than most guys coming in who are all going to be behind the eight ball because Nick Saban, he takes a personal interest. He actually coaches those defensive backs. So Trayvon Diggs has a little bit of an advantage there. I was briefly debated taking Neville Gallimore in the second round, but went with Diggs because of a bigger need at corner. But lo and behold, when the third round rolled around, Gallimore was still there. Babe, another Sooner. What do you think about this defensive <laughs> tackle? Uh, another Sooner, Wes, and another Canadian to go with Tyrone Crawford. So uh, Gallimore played his high school football in Canada. And as a matter of fact, Lincoln Riley, his coach at Oklahoma, said, man, when he got to Oklahoma, he was almost like an eighth grader because the football up there was not as sophisticated as obviously what we play down here in the States. So he kind of had a long way to go. Another guy that I think uh, if you looked at the going into the first three rounds, you said, boy, I'd like to see a receiver and a defensive back and then a defensive uh, lineman come out of those first three rounds in no particular order. And, Mickey, that's exactly what they did. They got the receiver in one, they got the corner in two, and they got the defensive tackle in the third round. Absolutely, babe. And I, I think this goes back again that you, we mentioned the debate. Take him in the second, try to get a corner in the third, took the corner in the second, and there he is still in the third. And it goes to what Jerry Jones said uh, after the draft. He goes, you know what, I'm not, I don't know what we did, all I know is wherever we were sitting and wherever we were wearing, we should do it again because things fell in our lap. And this guy had a second-round grade. Uh, and, and I'm told that the people that watched a lot of Oklahoma football that if he comes here and they use him as a two-gapper uh, instead of playing head up, that his speed on the line will really show up. He can move laterally. And if you watch highlights of him, unrelentless pursuit so this guy's going to fit real well into Mike Nolan's defense well you said uh, keep doing what they were doing well Jerry Jones was on his yacht uh, do you suggest that he goes back to his yacht I mean superstition and everything maybe he needs to draft next year from the same spot babe is that okay with you I suggest he drafts from the yacht and I suggest he takes me with him next year because hopefully at this time we won't have the social distancing thing going on. Or, or babe, maybe we could be the one helping him with the, the phone when he had to talk and do the, the interviews uh, with the players, the secret audio. I want to be the one holding the phone and helping him out instead of his grandchildren. <laughs> well, guys, we got two days of the draft done, but Dallas still had four more picks coming up on Saturday. When we return... We'll take a look at day three picks, including a second cornerback. Stick around. You're watching the Silver Star Nation post-draft special. This is the Silver Star Nation Dallas Cowboys draft special.